In this video, you will learn how to create a bar on a central spline line in Appliance Designer 2015. What you will learn in this video is how to create a bar on the central spline line both 2D and 3D and how to do modifications to the bar. Just a small definition of a bar in Appliance Designer. A bar is a three-dimensional bar. It can be created both on a model set or another component in Appliance Designer. The bars are pre-designed in Ortho Control Panel where you can go in and make modifications to them. To create a bar, the workflow contains four steps. We are in Appliance Designer and we're about to create a bar. There's two different ways to start creating a bar. One way is to click on the part or component you wish to build on and it will have a green outline. Then right click and you can choose create bar. You can also go to create new part, press this one and enter the name of the part you wish to build. Press OK and over here you can press the plus and then create bar. If you've chosen to create a bar from the left side, you have to choose which source you wish to build your bar on. So you click and choose what to build on. Over here you can choose colors to define a different color to your component. Press OK. The first part is insertion direction and if you're satisfied with the insertion direction you simply press Next. Now for the creation of the bar, as I said, there are two different options, like you can create a 3D on model or 2D on a plane. The 3D on model is just pressing the markers on the model and you have created the bar. To create 2D spline on a plane, you press this one and you create a spline line on the plane. You simply put the points on where you want the bar to be and press Next. Here you will see this, the spline. You choose bar type from this side and you choose bar ending wrapped around or flat if you want them to be flat at the end. To move the bar you have to touch these small markers. If you press Shift all of them can be moved at the same time. If you press Ctrl, I can mark more than one and then I can move it up and down, like this. The green ones here is going to make the bar thicker or thinner and again if I press Shift, all of them, and you can make it smaller or bigger. The red ones I can make alterations too and again if I press Shift it will be all of them I can move. So this is how you can create a bar. And if you're satisfied with the outcome of the bar, you press Next. And in the last part here, you have a post-processing where you can move the complete bar back and forth or up and down, like this. So once you've done that, you press done and you have created a bar. The icon of a bar will look like this.